Good morning, Tyler. I'm in, in the outdoors, and I don't know how long I'm going to be out here because I don't know if people are going to start giving me dirty looks or interrupting me or what. But this is what the outside looks like um, here where I live. Ah, it's pretty hot out. I'm wearing long sleeves and sleep pants, so I'm regretting this a little. But fresh scenery. Outdoors. Don't go outdoors much. So, um, today is the first day of our little challenge week, our theme week, um, and as you know, my obsession with Iceland is ridiculous, and anyone who knows me, who or has known me for at least the last month, knows how obsessed with Iceland I truly am. So, as I was reading the Wikipedia page a couple weeks ago, I did take notes on certain things that I found interesting. So today, I'm going to be picking out certain facts from that list that you might like too. So here's my little, my little Iceland things. During World War II, Iceland joined Denmark in asserting neutrality. The 1970s were marked by the Cod Wars, several disputes with the United Kingdom over Iceland's extension of its fishing limits. That's just great. I'm sorry. Ice Iceland has no standing army. Icelanders remain especially proud of their role in hosting the historic 1985 Reagan-Gorbachev summit in Reykjavik, which set the stage for the end of the Cold War. According to the Go Global Peace Index, Iceland is the most peaceful country in the world due to its lack of armed forces, low crime rate, and high level of socio-political stability. Based on the Gini coefficient, Iceland has also has one of the lowest rates of income inequality in the world. Iceland marked fifth in the Index of Economic Freedom 2005 in 2005 and 14th in 2008. According to a poll conducted by the OECD, 66% of the Icelander, 66% uh, of Icelanders were satisfied with their lives, while 70% believe that their lives will be satisfying in the future. 83% of Iceland uh, reported having more positive experiences in an average day than negative ones, compared to the OECD average of 72%, which makes Iceland one of the happiest countries in the OECD. How cool is that? Iceland is liberal with regard to gay rights, which makes them awesome. In 1996, the Icelandic par Parliament passed legislation to create registered partnerships for same-sex couples, conferring nearly all the rights and benefits in mar of marriage. In 2005, Parliament voted un unanimously to grant same-sex couples the same rights as heterosexual, heterosexual couples in adoption, parenting, and assisted insemination treatment. On 11th, 11th June 2010, the Icelandic Parliament amended marriage law, I don't know what that was, making it gender neutral and defining, I just lost my spot. Oh, defining marriage as between two individuals, making Iceland one of the first countries in the world to legalize same-sex marriage. Icelanders are known for their deep sense of community. An OECD survey that found an OECD survey found that 98 believe that they know someone they could rely on in a time of need, higher than any other industrialized country. Similarly, only 6% re reported rarely or never socializing with others. The Icelandic telephone directory is listed alphabetically by first name rather than surname. So now that I've got that done, and I'm really sweaty because it's hot, um, I hope that you learned a little bit about Iceland and that you waste time looking at the Icelandic wiki page and looking at pictures and falling in love with it the way that I did because it is just a gorgeous country full, of, full with wonderful people. On that note, I'll see you tomorrow. I realized while I was editing this video that I forgot to mention the, like one of the coolest things about Iceland. They believe in elves. <laughs>